Here's what's on the show today. Can oysters really put you in the mood? Nutritious Peggy Katsopoulos gives us the facts. We're gonna have common aphrodisiacs here. Okay. And you have to guess true or false if they actually work. C. Got Welcome back, everybody. Well, can chocolate, oysters, or red wine really put you in the mood? Well, nutritionist Peggy Kotsopoulos is setting the record straight on aphrodisiacs. Everyone, yeah. please give some love to Peggy. Yeah. Hi, sweetheart. Yeah. Hi, babe. Yeah. Um, and this is going to be a fun true-false game that we have going yeah. here. The audience, you guys all have your panels, right? The true-false, yeah. there we go. Um, now, let's talk about this. Foods and aphrodisiacs. Yes, because, I mean, sex is so important. Not only does it increase your emotional con um, connection with your partner, yeah. but it also helps to boost your immune system, helps to prevent cardio cardiovascular disease, sure. gets rid of colds and headaches and osteoporosis. So it's awesome. Right. And unfortunately... <laughs> it's about, awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, about two-thirds of women would rather read a book or sleep or watch a movie than have sex. And right. men aren't any better, actually, studies show, okay? <laughs> oh, really? Despite what we think, they might they have they can have their own issues. Yeah, the yeah. desire might be there, but they might not, you know, function properly. So what we're gonna talk about huh? so what we're gonna Peggy talk about the record straight. is we're gonna have common aphrodisiacs here. Okay. And you have to guess true or false if they actually work. Okay. Okay? So starting with Let's oysters. With oysters, true or false? True Are or they false? an aphrodisiac, everybody? True or false? True. We Yay. have I'm gonna say ninety percent true yeah. there. Yeah. And it's actually right. Yeah. Oysters are an aphrodisiac because they're so high in zinc. So zinc actually increases testosterone production. Oh. Now testosterone is such an important sex hormone for both men and women. Oh really? So it actually really helps with sexual desire. With men it helps with you know erectile function. Um, it actually helps increase sexual desire in women as well. So it's such an important sex ho hormone for both men and, and women. Wow. So yeah, eat your oysters. And that's why they're so expensive, right? Yes. Holy, yes. yeah. Exactly. Now this one's very interesting. Is uh, asparagus an aphrodisiac? Aphrodisiac. Asparagus? Two Look or at false. anybody? No, guys? Uh, ah. We're 50 50. I'm going to say false. I mean, it's asparagus. Um, hello? Look at it. Oh, God. <laughs> like, come on. It, like, it just looks valid. And All right. You know what? They actually used to judge a lot of aph aphrodisiacs based on what they looked. Really? Like, yeah. But this actually has amazing benefits because okay. it's actually really high in nicene, which is uh, vitamin B3, which helps with um, sensation and gives you that sexual flush and makes you more sensitive to touch. Really? So it's great for that. Yeah. That um, little naughty yeah. asparagus, yeah, right? Plus, wow. Yes. Plus, huh? it's high in vitamin E, which really helps with hormonal with with the production of hormones so in both men and women so oh. really really important who knew there yeah, you go so asparagus okay. is awesome we're gonna go to this one everyone knows this one true or false red wine is an aphrodisiac oh come on true okay it's actually okay so if you have a couple nope. of this yeah yes if you have a couple of these, not so much. <laughs> so, so, well, yeah, so okay. actually, so the way alcohol works is it actually suppresses inhibitions, which is why you kind of might feel more frisky, you might get in the mood. A couple of glasses does that. You know, about you know, five to ten glasses, especially for men, because it uh, actually suppresses sexual function as well. So men might not be able to maintain an erection. Um, it actually slows down um, the process of actually orgasming in both men and women too. Too much of it. Wow. So, uh, you know, moderation. A couple glasses, awesome. So if not, then just reach for the asparagus. <laughs> Have some asparagus with your wine. Right? And yeah. You're good. <laughs> now this one here, guys. Uh, will garlic, garlic get you in the mood? True or false? I gotta say false. It's garlic. I mean, come on. Yeah, well, most people There's, say false. Most people say false. It's actually true. True. It's garlic. It's actually true. Yes. Get out. Yes. What's garlic so, do? Um, so al it contains a compound called um, allicin, which gives it the funky odor. So even though it, it's you know the antithesis of sexiness, yeah. it actually what it does is it stimulates nitric oxide production, which is what Vi Viagra does, basically. So what it does is it actually <laughs> widens your blood vessels, so blood gets to your you know, sexual organs a lot faster. Wow, so, 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 so that's a big Viagra pill. That's what that is. This is a huge little wow. Vi Viagra pill. Do no, so, so, you eat it raw? Like, what, yeah, like well, we're oh, just... <laughs> just like, <laughs> yeah, honey, come here. I don't think eat, I don't yeah, want to if you're eating it raw. <laughs> right? And, you know, by the, but no, you can add it to meals. It's best raw, obviously. Actually, if you mince it really, really well, um, it, it actually helps with it. So oh, you want to keep the whole garlic clove intact and sneak it in, and some meals sneak it in and, your yeah, meals. It's in a meals. great additive, but right? it's, yeah, it's really good. Okay, next one, guys. Uh, mint. Is mint an aphrodisiac? Uh, it's, it smells lovely. I would think it's lovely. Mint? It's about half and half. Yeah, well, half and half-ish, yeah. It's actually false. False. Yes, no. So those curiously strong mints yeah, might right? not yeah. be doing what it's supposed to be doing. <laughs> so actually, um, what it can actually do is, is it can disrupt hormonal production. Wow. So yeah, it can actually decrease your sex drive. 
Oh, mint. and too much mint. This is like, I mean, mint is great. It's great for your digestive health, all that kind of stuff. Right. Stuff, but if you really want to have, you know, a really good sex drive, limit your quantities. So, oh, you know, one you know, cup of mint tea is fine, but if you're having so much mint tea or a eating too much mint. A pot of mint tea ain't gonna happen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right? you just you know, stick to a cup, it's right. good. Um, and this one, I, fascinating, uh, is, is pumpkin pie an aphrodisiac? Pumpkin pie? Everybody? True. Oh, there's a lot of trues. True. I it's, mean, it's yeah. pie. I it's the smell of pumpkin pie, not but, eating the pie. But what do you mean the smell? Smell, smell that. How do you feel? How are you feeling, Steven? I love, well, I love pumpkin pie. <laughs> so. I'm feeling around. <laughs> so it actually does that. What it does is actually the scent of it. So the they scent. actually did a study, and uh, men who actually smell pumpkin pie, um, actually with lavender, it actually increased the flow of blood flow to, to their, you know. Really? Sexual organs a lot, fa about forty percent faster pumpkin than pie. pumpkin pie. But I would think like pizza and beer or something. Yeah, actually, no? like pizza, cheese, guys. pizza does that too. Pizza does and it too. The reality is it actually stimulates memories and an emotional kind of has an emotional trigger. Really? So, but really, what the study showed was any kind of smell of food. <laughs> turns a man on. <laughs> like it's really right? that simple. But it actually worked for women too. Pumpkin, the smell of pumpkin pie actually worked for women but as I'm well. But I'm shocked they haven't made this into like a hand cream or a lotion. Pumpkin yeah, pie I lotion, know. right? Well, you can't even like lavender works too. You can put it essential oil. You can, you know, everyone's yeah, yeah. gonna be walking around now smelling like pumpkin, <laughs> pumpkin pie. pie. <laughs> <laughs> well, you smell edible, right? 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 Totally. Yeah. There you go. Um, the last one here, guys, uh, is chocolate, chocolate. and aphrodisiac. A lot of, you have both 99% uh, like true. Pretty much everyone says. Yeah. It's true and false. Oh. So um, chocolate is associated with love it's and Valentine's romantic, Day. Uh, it's yeah. romantic. It's the whole experience behind it that makes it an aphrodisiac. Right. But um, scientifically, so what it actually contains is a compound called phenylethylamine, or PEA, and that's yeah. coined the love molecule. So oh. it kind of triggers that same feeling as falling in love for the first makes time. Makes you feel good. Makes you feel good. Yeah. So it does make you feel good. But really, when you get more refined chocolates, and if you're eating a chocolate bar, I mean, the amount that you're actually getting is so diminished, um, it's an, and, and it can get absorbed so it doesn't cross your blood-brain barrier that fast. So the actual effects of it might not be that good. Enough. But, I mean, it makes us feel good, right? Yeah, that's so. true. So why not? What the hell, right? Yeah, so exactly. chocolate is a great little... Fantastic. Add. Great information, sweetheart. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much. You, so much. Yeah. you got it. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Really yeah. fun. Everybody, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're testing out travel gadgets. They're going to be fun. This is so cool.